kids welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do fractions let's revisit write the fraction for the shaded part one has been done for you here it is divided into four equal part so shaded part out of four three are shaded so the fraction is three by four here four equal part out of that one is shaded so we'll represent 1 by 4. 1 is shaded out of 4. So we'll write the fraction as 1 by 4. Next is understanding fractions. A fraction is a number that stands for the parts of the whole object or the collection of object. Here, whole and this is the collection. Total 4 apples. So this is a collection. One half. This shape has two equal parts. When a whole is divided into two equal parts, each part is called one half. One of the two equal parts is blue. We say that the one half is blue. We'll write it as one by two is blue. Here, one circle is divided into two equal parts. So each part will represent one by two. Here. One part is shaded, so its fraction is 1 by 2. Or we can write 1 by 2 is blue. Clear? Next, one third. When the whole is divided to three equal parts, each part is called one third. One of the three parts is blue. We say that one third is blue. We write it as 1 by 3 is blue. In the figure given alongside, two of the three part is yellow. We'll say that two third is yellow. We'll write it as two by three is yellow. Here the figure is divided to three equal part. So each part will represent one by three. And one part is shaded. So we'll say one third is blue. Here again divided into three equal part. Out of that two are colored yellow. So these two part will represent two by three or two third. Clear? Next is one fourth. When the whole is divided into four equal parts, each part is called one fourth. One of the four part is green. We say that one fourth is green. We'll write it as one by four is green. Two of the four parts are green. We'll say two fourth is green. We'll write it as two by four is green. Three of the four part are green. We'll write it as 3 4th are green or write it as 3 by 4 is green. So here this figure is divided into 4 equal part. If one part is shaded, the green part here will represent 1 by 4 because out of 4 equal part 1 is shaded. Here 2 are shaded so these 2 will represent 2 by 4. Here 3 so it will represent 3 by 4. Clear? Next, note. Two halves make a whole. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 make a whole. If we join 1 by 2 means two half together, it will make a whole. Clear? 3 third make a whole. 1 by 3, 3 times add karenge. So, it will make one whole. Or 4 4 makes whole means 1 by 4 4 times make a whole clear next practice corner 6.1 shade or color one half here the figure is divided into two equal part so each part will represent one by two so you can color any half here or you can color this part as well clear so here you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. We'll move to next topic. Next is SDG for qualitative education. Choose a fraction to show the amount of liquid in each container. Here, if you see the glass, it's filled more than half. So I'll write three by four. Because total glass ka 3 fourth part jo hai, that is filled with water. So, we'll write 3 by 4. 
clear next is finding fraction of a group finding 1 by 2 of group ankit and sanjana are sharing help them to divide these papayas equally equally means dividing into two equal parts which means divided by 2 so here total number of papaya 4 we have to divide into two equal parts so it will divide by two four divided by two that is two so or we can write one by two of four so two twos of four so that is equals to two finding one third of a group one third is one part of three equal part Dividing to 3 equal part also mean dividing by 3. So, here total number of ice creams are 12. So, 12 divided by 3 that is equals to 4 or 1 third of 12 that is equals to 4. Next, finding 1 fourth of a group. 1 fourth is also called quarter. 1 fourth or the quarter is 1 part of 4 equal part. Dividing into 4 equal part also means dividing by 4. So, 8 divided by 4 that is equal to 2. So, 1 by 4 of 8 that is 2. Clear? Remember, if you have to find 1 by 2, you will divide by 2. If you have to find 1 by 3, you will divide by 3. If you have to find 1 by 4, divide by 4. Next is practice corner 6.2. Circle 1 half. Here total number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Half means we will divide 8 by 2. That is 4. So here this part will represent 1 by 2 or half. Clear? So, agar half find karna hai, 1 by 2 find karna hai, we will divide by 2. Next, circle the third. Here, total number of balls, that is 6. We have to find 1 third, means divide by 3. 6 divided by 3, that is equals to 2. So, it will represent 1 by 3 part of total. Next, circle the fourth. Total number of pencil is 20. We have to find out 1 fourth or quarter. That means we will divide by 4. So, 20 divided by 4 that is equals to 5. So, here 5 pencil will represent 1 by 4 part of it. Next is numerator and denominator. Fraction means part of region, part of collection. Numerator upon denominator. Numerator, the upper part of fraction and denominator, the lower part of fraction. Numerator, number of part chosen and denominator will show number of equal part made. Clear? Here, in this picture, total number of mangoes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Clear? Out of that, 3 are color. So, the fraction is so. 3 upon 8. Here 3 the colored mangoes, 8 mangoes in all. So here 3 is numerator and 8 is our denominator. Clear? Next practice corner 6.3. First write the fraction for the shaded part and then find the numerator and denominator. Here the tree is divided into two equal part and one part is shaded so it will represent one by two. Here the numerator the upper part is one and the denominator is two. Clear? Next is write the fraction with numerator two denominator five. So fraction will be two by five. Clear? Next write the fraction for the following story problem. In a test, 15 marks, Alka got 11 marks. What fraction of mark did she get? So, total marks, 15. Out of that, she got 11. So, fraction of jaga 11 upon 15. Clear? Next is aesthetic and art integration. 
first color the dashel flag and then answer the following question what is the fraction of so first you have to color this national flag you know what color are there saffron white and green and this is blue clear so you have to show what part of fraction white showing because the flag is divided into three equal part so each part will represent 1 by 3 clear next multiple choice question take the correct option 1 by 4 is read as 1 4th so B is the correct clear so you have to practice all the questions of this chapter here we end the chapter I hope you understand it well now you have to practice it Thank you.